begin this lesson, I'm going to click the Excel Windows Restore Down button in order to make the Excel window smaller than full screen. To do that, I click the Restore Down button at the top right hand corner of the screen. Excel can be thought of as a frame, the Excel window, containing one or more workbook windows. Most of the time, you'll work with one Excel window containing one workbook window. The way that Excel is at the moment represents the normal way of working. The workbook window is maximized within the Excel window. Notice that there are two sets of similar control buttons. The control buttons that belong to the Excel window and the control buttons that belong to the workbook window. If the workbook windows restore down button is clicked, the workbook window floats within the frame provided by the application window. Now you might think, what's the point of having a floating workbook window? And at this stage, in your journey of discovery with Excel, there's no point at all. You need to know how to maximize, minimize and restore down the workbook window because you might do it by accident and need to fix things up again. Later, in Lesson 2.2, you'll see how Excel is able to display more than one workbook window at the same time within the Excel window. Notice that when the workbook window is restored down, the workbooks Maximize, Minimize and Restore Down buttons move to the top right hand corner of the floating window. Now I'm going to click the Workbooks Minimize button and when I do this the workbook minimizes to a button at the bottom left of the screen. Now I'm going to click the Restore button once more and the workbook returns to a floating window within the Excel window. And now I'm going to maximize the workbook window by clicking the workbook windows maximize button. When I click maximize, I'm back to the normal way of working with the workbook window maximized within the Excel window. You've probably noticed that there are two close buttons on screen, one for the Excel window and one for the workbook window. You might wonder why we need two close buttons. Well, it's quite possible to close the workbook while leaving Excel open. Let's do that now by clicking the Workbooks Close button. And when I click the Close button, Excel remains open, but now there are no workbooks at all on display. All we need to do now to complete this lesson is to close Excel itself. So I click the Excel Close button at the top right hand corner.